Hi, you guys. It's Alyssa. I hope you're all doing lovely today. So today's reading is kind of like a no communication reading. So this is like for anybody who is in separation from their person of interest, kind of like what's going on with them and are they going to come back into my life? That kind of thing. So um, we're going to have four options today. One, two, three, and four. Um, option one has this lovely little narwhal sticker on it. Option two has the unicorn. Group three has the blue alpaca. And group four has the pink dragon. Okay, guys? So I will give you a few moments to um, pick your group. And while you're doing that... <clears throat> I just want to say, um, y'all might remember I did a poll, um, a couple weeks ago now, uh, asking you guys what, uh, readings you wanted to see, and, um, one of those was, uh, what is my person saying about me, um, I did record that reading, however, I'm not super happy with it, so I'm probably going to redo it. So if that was the one that you wanted to see, don't worry, it's still coming. Um, it's just going to be a little while longer, okay? Um, also, I've got uh, personal readings available. The link to my Etsy st store is in the description box. Um, where you can go and purchase a private reading. Also, um, if you want to leave me a tip or um, a donation for the channel, um, the PayPal link, my PayPal link, is also in the description. And um, if you're interested in hearing me talk about uh, spirit work or other weird shit, um, I am putting out videos on that. Um, I think by the time this goes up, my Anubis video should be out. So uh, check that out if that sounds like something you'd be interested in. And if not, uh, I guess don't. So um, anyway, yeah, let's get started with group one, shall we? <clears throat> okay, group one, purple narwhal. Let's see. Um, what is going on with your person? And, uh, are they going to come back? I need to find out a better way to organize my decks. Because they just get kind of out of control. Um, anyway. Whoa, okay. What is going on? Okay, we've got have faith in your dreams and we have believe in the impossible. So, um, these are two really good, um cards to get when we're talking about, you know, somebody that we're not in contact with right now. Um, sorry, I'm just trying to figure out where to put these. Okay. Um, so I'm getting the sense that many of you who picked this group probably have been out of touch with the person you're thinking about for a pretty decent amount of time at this point, probably at least several months. Um, and I think that many of you are probably starting to, you know, lose any hope that you'll ever, um, have this person in your life again, which is understandable. Um, and I also think that some of you guys have, some of you have probably been watching readings that are saying, this person's coming back, don't worry. And you're like, okay, well... I'm waiting, and I've been waiting, and these, you know, these readings have been saying that they're going to come back around, but they're, they still haven't. Um, the thing is that time is fluid. Time is not just, like, a linear progression. Um, you know, so... <sighs> energies, future energies, can be tricky to read, uh, because... I mean, basically, time is just, time is, time doesn't even exist, really. So, you know, it's, um, it makes sense 
if you think about it, for um, a potential outcome to be like super prolonged. You know, it, it might feel when you're doing a reading like this outcome is right around the corner because the energy feels so strong, when in reality it might not be happening until, I don't know, it, it could be months, it could be years. You know, it's like Spirit's definition of soon is not like our definition of soon. Um, and just a personal example, um, a few years ago, I started getting messages from my guides that someone very important was going to be um, coming into my life soon. Okay. And do you know what soon turned out to be? Soon turned out to be uh, a year and a half. So, you know, you, you have to keep that in mind when you're watching readings like this. Okay. But anyway, back to the point, um, I feel like many of you are losing faith that it's ever going to happen. Um, however, these cards are saying, um, have faith in this person. And, you know, you're probably thinking it's impossible at this point, it's never going to happen. But Spirit is saying that you're going to be surprised. You're probably going to be pleasantly surprised. Oh, I guess it depends on, you know, how you're feeling about your person right now, but um, I, I feel like they're going to surprise you, okay? So let's see what this deck has to say. What messages do we have for group one about their person that they are in separation from? We have true love, the romance of a lifetime. All right, so, um, this is someone that you could potentially uh, have a very, like, lasting relationship with in the future. Let's see what else wants to come out. We have st <laughs> stay optimistic. Um, so, yeah, I think the main message that we're getting so far here is that this person, like, you met this person for a reason and you're in separation right now for a reason. Um, and so you just have to remember that there's a greater purpose to this. Um, even though you probably aren't seeing how, you know, you're, you're probably not understanding, like, what is the point. You're not seeing how spirit is working on this situation. But it is. It is progressing. You just can't see it happening. Um, and that's probably why you are becoming discouraged. Um, but, you know, they're saying this person came into your life for a reason and they will come back into your life when the time is right. So you have, you just have to stay optimistic, okay? Um, so let's see if we can't find out, um, what is actually going on with this person right now, what they might be going through, what they might be doing, um, if they're thinking about you and about what's going or what has happened between you. So let's just see what's up. What's group one's person going through right now? We have the Empress card. Okay, we have Death and we have the Knight of Cups. Interesting. Um, so, I think that your person in general is kind of in this Empress energy. Like, I think they are feeling confident for the most part. I think they're feeling pretty good about themselves for the most part. And I think that's because they have undergone or they are in the process of undergoing a transformation, okay? Now, this transformation is the reason that you're not in touch right now. Um, and this transformation is still underway, okay, for most of you. I mean, yeah, in general, it's still happening, but they have made a lot of progress in the past couple of months. Um, and so let's get a clarifier for this Knight of Cups here. Two of Swords. All 
right. So, um, okay. So I'm, what I'm about to say is not going to apply for all of you. I think this is just going to be for a handful of you. Uh, and you might know, you probably know if it's applicable to you or not. Um, for some of you, the person you're thinking about has been kind of um, talking to other people. Uh, I don't feel like they are seriously involved with any other people, um, but it seems to me like they've just been trying to put themselves out there again. Um, and this actually doesn't even have to be talking about uh, them, you know, looking at potential partners. This could just be me saying, um, you know, they've been getting out more like with their friends or, you know, something like that. Um, basically, I'm just seeing that they are, um, they're just, they're just kind of putting themselves back out there into the world. Because it seems to me like for many of you, your person was a little bit of a hermit for a while. Um, they were feeling down, they were not, they weren't really having a good time, and now they're kind of coming out on the other side of that. Um, they're just starting to, okay? Uh, they're just kind of, they're, they've taken their first steps out on the other side of that tunnel, okay? Um, so, I think the Two of Swords is saying now, they are feeling better about themselves. Um, so I think they could be contemplating um, reaching out to you, but they're not sure. Uh, because it's like, they feel better about, you know, themselves. They have more confidence in themselves. But also, you know, they, they really fuck stuff up in the past. <laughs> and they know that. And they're still a little bit nervous, okay? Um, the world card fell out, so this card is about completion, this card is about cycles, can also indicate travel, so a number of you could be um, at a physical distance from your person as well. Um, but this is talking more about, like, they're completing a cycle in their growth, in their life. Yeah, 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 yeah. High Priestess, um, this is about, like, spirituality, okay? Uh, they are, um, they're putting an end to something that was holding them back before. Um, could be a particular behavior, thought pattern, something like that. Um, there's something that they are putting behind them, okay, that is, you know, this ending is for their highest good, right? It's helping them to grow. It's helping them to uh, evolve, you know, spiritually. It's like leveling up. Um, the Knight of Pentacles is a similar energy to the Knight of Cups. However, the Knight of Pentacles is much more slow moving. So um, I would say... I, you know, I've already said, based on these oracle cards alone, I'm, I'm pretty much positive that this person's going to come back around, uh, but I think it's still going to be a while before that actually happens. We have the King of Wands, we have the Ten of Wands, and we have the Ace of Cups. So, that's lovely. Um, <laughs> the King of Wands, this is like... This is telling me that they definitely still are thinking about you. They definitely still have, uh, they feel that connection. They feel that attraction still. Um, the Ten of Wands is sort of like, this is what they feel for you. Like, the connection that they feel with you is something that weighs on their mind in a bad way and in a good way. Um, I think they... Sometimes they really like it, and other times they wish that they could just forget about you and about what has happened in the past between you. Um, however, they f they have found that they just can't. And so, I think that they are... 
I feel like they are moving towards you, but they're moving very slowly because they know they're still not quite there yet. They're not quite ready. So that's where this Knight of Pent Pentacles is coming in. And this Ace of Cups, I'm kind of seeing as like the potential outcome. Um, so this is a new beginning. This is like a, a, a starting over, basically. You know what I'm saying? Um... So, um, yeah, that's, that's what's going on with your person, and I think that they are going to be back. However, it's going to be a while, still. And, you know, I think, yeah, regeneration, <laughs> this is basically like what I was just saying, um, a new start. It's like this connection right now probably feels dead like floating in the water belly up dead um however <laughs> there's still potential for new growth to happen here so i'm definitely seeing that this relationship has uh, or will have an opportunity to uh start over again basically and i think when that happens i feel like it'll be very different from the way it was before, which is probably a good thing, <laughs> um, because this person will be more mature and have a better understanding of, like, what they want, and I think they'll be more open to you, okay, and, and more open to being vulnerable. Does that make sense? Because um, I feel like for a number of you guys, part of the issue in the past was that this person just kept, uh, this person just kept putting up walls, and it was like, as soon as you thought you were getting somewhere with them, it was like, oh, nope, I, I built another wall, try getting past this one, um, so, uh, that's frustrating, um, but I think in the future when they do come back, it's gonna be different that time around. Okay, um, so let me see if I can't get, like, an estimate for time frame. Like I said at the start, timing is very, uh, fluid. It's not guaranteed, you know, and also this is just general, so, you know, it's going to be different for everybody. Um, but let me just see if I, I can get an estimate for, um, in general. We have the Eight of Pentacles. So, Pentacles, more of that slow-moving kind of energy. Um, the number eight, the number eight is standing out to me. Um, I feel like August, something could happen here. Um, for some of you, you'll actually hear from this person before August, but... August is when you'll start to see some, like, actual progress. <laughs> um, for others of you, it might not be until August when you receive contact from this person. Probably August or just, like, summer in general. Um, and, of course, this is just a general reading, so it's going to be different for everyone. Um, all of you are at slightly different stages in this connection. Uh, all of your people are at different stages, so, you know, it'll vary a little bit, and also free will is a thing, so, um, this outcome is just based on this situation's current trajectory, okay? So, group number one, that was a nice little reading, um, I hope you enjoyed it, and, uh, leave me a comment, let me know your thoughts, maybe subscribe if you feel so inclined, um, I would love to have you. So, okay, um, yeah, that's about it for group one. Uh, thank you so much for watching. I hope I see you next time, guys. We're going to move on to group number two now. Okay. Oh, I need to get rid of this. Group two. Let me move this over here. There we go. Okay, so group two, um, what's going on with your person of interest, and uh, are they going to be coming back into your life?
Okay, we have confidence is your key to success. And we have it's time to release negativity. So this is telling me that um, I feel like you guys who picked this option, um, this, uh, I feel like you guys are manifestors, um, maybe without even realizing it. I'm, I'm getting that, like, your thoughts have so much power over your reality, and you probably don't even know it. Um, you know, I mean, most people are somewhat familiar with the law of attraction, um, but if you're not, it's basically like you receive what you put out into the world. So if you project, like, good positive energy, then you will attract good things your way. And if you project negativity out into the world, then you will just attract more negativity. You know what I'm saying? <clears throat> so I feel like a lot of you guys who picked this group, like, you know, no offense, but it seems to me like you're kind of sabotaging yourselves a little bit um, because it feels like you guys are just have such a negative mindset about this particular situation. And it's like that negative mindset is just perpetuating the problem that's present here. Um, and if that doesn't sound right to you, then this probably isn't your reading. Uh, maybe pick a different pile um, or not. You know, sometimes only bits and pieces of the reading will resonate with some people. So, uh, you know, whatever. So <laughs> I think that these, this card is saying, if you, you, you can manifest this person back into your life. However, you have to let go of the negativity. Basically, you have to, you have to release the, um, I feel like you guys have, I feel like you guys are expecting this to not go anywhere. Or if they do come back, you're just expecting it to be the same way that it was before. Um, so you've got to release those expectations that you have, um, and look at this, like, from a different perspective. Like, I mentioned this in group one, but people, you know, when you have, like, a strong connection with somebody, um, that person was put into your life for a reason. And you're separated from that person right now for a reason. Um, so you just kind of have to learn to trust the process and have confidence that spirit does know what it's doing. It doesn't always seem like it, trust me, but it does know what it's doing. It has, it has, you know, a, a reason for everything that it does. Um, so I think you just have to find confidence in that and trust that things will work out in your best interest, okay? In a way that will serve your highest good. All right, so um, let me pull some Romance Angel cards and see what they have to add to this. It's group one's person, sorry, group two is group two's person coming back. So we have the Religious Factors card, your love life is influenced by your religious upbringing and spiritual path. Now I very rarely interpret this card literally. A lot of times for me it uh, is an indicator that there is some sort of soul connection that, you know, like I was just saying, this connection that you have to this person serves a higher purpose, okay? Um, there's a reason it exists, there's a reason this person came into your life, and there's a reason why they're not in your life right now. Okay, um, and we have flirt. Extend your lighthearted energy to others. So, um, oh, that's funny. It's kind of like they're, these cards are like building upon the one above them. Um, so the flirt card is basically just saying, it's like these two are going hand in hand. It's like you have to release any uh, negative 
thoughts or energies that you're holding on to surrounding this situation lighten your energy clear clear away that negativity um, you might want to do some energy clearing like meditations or something like that um, but basically there is a need for you to lighten your energy raise your vibrations and when you do that um, I feel like things will start to progress more quickly um, so is your person coming back at this point I want to say most likely um, but let's pull some tarot cards and see what they have to add and also we need to see what's going on with your person right now we have the four of Pentacles we have the eight of wands we have the ace of cups okay let me put that here and the Queen of Swords all right so um, the four of Pentacles is about holding on to something it's about being connected um, so this makes me think that your person definitely is still thinking about you okay they haven't they haven't really let go of this okay um, the eight of wands does tell me that they you will hear from them because this card does indicate communication and change and action so I do think you will get contact from this person um, but you know I feel like now don't be mad at me guys because I'm just the messenger here but I feel like you will receive most of you anyway this is just general most of you will receive communication from this person and things might go well for a while with the ace of cups this is like a new beginning but then i feel as though it might kind of break apart a bit again um the queen of swords this is like ice queen you know she's like kind of a distant unemotional kind of energy um so I feel like this situation like this um, cycle that you guys are in of being in contact things going okay and then separating I feel like that cycles not over yet I feel like there's more work that needs to be done um, and until that work is finished this cycle is just going to keep repeating um, hmm. so I do feel like they're going to come back but I'm not sure if they're going to stay at least not this time you know what I'm saying um, I mean even if they vanish again I do think they'll be back again in the future and again and again and again until you know whoever learns whatever lesson they're supposed to be learning right now um, let's see we have the king of cups and we have the emperor so yeah eventually this situation will stabilize the emperor is about stability the king of cups is about maturity right um so eventually this situation will stabilize in this person uh, i think both of you will mature um to an extent where you know you guys can have that find that balance with each other and w whatever issues are currently um causing rifts between you will be addressed and done and over with okay um, but right now those whatever those issues are they're still present they're still being processed and worked through until they're done being worked through um, I'm not seeing a lot of stability for this connection okay so um, I feel like most of you will probably hear from this person again in relatively soon I want to say like a couple of months at the most um, we have truth be told 
So, yeah, um, this is this is something that a lot of you probably were not wanting or hoping to hear. Um, because, you know, nobody wants to hear that their person is just going to keep coming in and out and being hot and cold. Um, however, this card is basically just saying, like, you know, if you didn't want to hear the message that Spirit has for you, why are you watching these videos? <laughs> um, so, yeah, this is, you know, this is kind of a... Spirit and myself both understand that this is something that is not going to be easy to accept. Um, but if this resonates with you so far, if this sounds like your situation, then this message most likely is for you to hear. Okay, and if things I've talked about thus far have not resonated with you, then this probably isn't your message. So don't even worry about it. Um, yeah, I just feel like I want to say that most of you will probably hear from your person again in the next couple of months. Um, but then, like I said, I feel like that stability is not going to be there. That consistency is still not going to be there. And I do feel like they're probably going to uh, ghost you again. Or something will happen that will, you know, cause a problem and communication will stop again. Um, <clears throat> but right now, you know, I think that they... It seems to me like they kind of think that they are prepared to be part of your life again, but once it actually happens, like, once you actually get back in touch, they're gonna be like, oh no, wait, oh, never mind. Um, because their, their energy right now is just very, kind of all over the place, a little bit immature. Um, so I, yeah. This is also something that is kind of weighing on them. Um, Ten of Wands is about a burden. It's like carrying a burden around. So this is something that... I think they know that if they want to be with you, they have to make some changes. But they're right now, they're not really willing to make the effort to make those changes, okay? Um, and so you're just feeling like the Nine of Wands. Like, when will this end? Um, I'm tired. Uh... It's hard to say when this cycle uh, will end um, because this is just general, so it's going to vary for each of you. And also, you know, it's really dependent on your person and yourself because um, I feel like it's not just all on them for most of you. I feel like you still have work that you need to be doing as well. So, um, yeah. Uh, group two, that's your reading. Um, I hope this resonates with you, and I hope that you uh, find it helpful. Leave me a comment. Let me know your thoughts. Um, remember, this is just general, so if this doesn't sound like your situation, then it wasn't for you, okay? So don't, don't, uh, don't yell at me if you didn't like it, because I will just block you. <laughs> um, so yeah, group two, that's it. That's it. What I got for you. Uh, Thanks for watching. I hope I see you next time. We are going to group three now. And I need a drink of my water. All right. Group three. Let's see. Is your person coming back? And what's going on with them right now? Okay, interesting. Um, so group two had this card and this card as well. 
it's time to release negativity and confidence is your key to success. They had both of these cards. You also got a third card. You got don't let your past hold you back. So that's interesting. Um, it feels to me like some of you guys are very, uh, group three, you're very, you're feeling discouraged about this connection, which is understandable. It seems to me like a lot of you guys who picked this option have been out of touch with the person you're thinking about for a long time. I'm talking like a couple years or more for some of you. Um... And I feel like you're just watching this just because you're curious about, you know, will they ever uh, come back around? Um, what I'm getting here is that maybe, maybe you're wondering this because for, you know, for some reason or another, you're still stuck on this person. Um... And this card, I'm, I'm not really looking at the negativity part. I'm, I'm being drawn more to the word release. So it seems to me like you've been thinking about this person. You're stuck on this person. Um, you haven't been able to release them for whatever reason. And that could be because there's a very strong, like, soul connection present. Um... And if that's the case, then, you know, unfortunately, you, um, you are going to be kind of stuck with that presence, you know, for the rest of your life, probably. Um, just because that's the nature of high-level soul connections and, like, twin flame stuff. Um, however, I'm not sure that this connection has a ton of potential in the physical world, like in the 3D. Um, in the 5D, I feel like this is very strong. I feel like you guys probably interact a lot. Um, and if, if that stuff that I just said doesn't resonate with you, then this probably isn't your reading. Just putting that out there. Um, but I feel like you guys... You know, you've been thinking about this person for a long time. You've been... I feel like you've tried letting it go, but you just haven't quite been able to do that. And so it's kind of holding you back from, like, finding a... Or getting involved in a relationship, like, a 3D relationship that is going to be good for you. And that's going to make you happy. Um, because you just don't feel like you can right? Because you're still stuck on this person that you're asking about right now. Um, so let's see what these cards have to say. Would you like to add anything? Yeah, yeah we have past life relationship here. So I think for most of you, this definitely is like a high level soulmate kind of thing. You know, some people don't like to use terminology like soulmates or twin flames I personally do because I'm a Virgo and I need to be able to like put everything into a neat category um but you know I I respect that not everybody uses those terms to uh identify what what is going on in their lives um we have children and we have new love so um this card is telling me that there is somebody out there for you waiting to be manifested into your life. Someone aside from this person. Um, some of you guys, I feel like, would like to have a family. You would like to have children, but you're, <clears throat> you haven't done that yet because you haven't like found a partner yet that you want to do that with and the reason you haven't found a partner yet is because you're stuck on this person um and maybe you were hoping like maybe they'll come back and maybe we can have a family together um unfortunately i don't see that happening here um 
these cards are really pointing towards you meeting someone new, honestly. So I, I'm, I don't really feel like the person you're asking about is going to come back into your life um, in the physical sense. You know what I'm saying? Like, I feel like you have a sh pretty strong 5D connection. If you don't, you can create one. Uh, you can learn how to communicate with their higher self. <clears throat> um, and that might help you to, like, fill that gap, you know, where you're missing this person and wanting to be around this person. Um, but they're... I feel like this person that you're thinking about is pretty ego-driven and that's really what's holding them back from you. Um, and I honestly feel like... Uh, let me see. I need some more cards here. Yeah, you're, um, the Four of Swords, your person that you're asking about, I think, is really in a state of, like, reflection. Yeah, the Seven of Swords also. Um, they, I mean, they still, they feel this connection just like you do. Maybe not to the same intensity, because they might not be as, like, sensitive or intuitive as you are, but they definitely feel it, and they definitely think about you. However, I, I feel like they are not in a position right now where they have any intentions of taking action towards you. In fact, with the Seven of Swords, it kind of feels like the opposite. It kind of feels like they, they want to distance themselves further. Um, and, you know, I know this probably isn't what you were uh, hoping to hear, but... Um, you know, this is, uh, this is the message that I'm getting, and also, I mean, it's general, so can't, take, take everything that I say with a grain of salt, please. Um, we have the Tower and the Death card, so there is, there is an ending here, or there's an ending that's already happened, and I feel like, okay, I just heard this, um, this cycle that you're in has ended, but you have not <clears throat> let it go. Like, for you, it's still, it, it's not over. I feel like you haven't, I feel like you still have expectations about, like, being with this person. You still have, you still kind of hold on to those hopes, and for that reason, you haven't allowed this period, this, this cycle to end completely, and so because it hasn't completely ended, nothing new can start. Um, so I think once, if, if you can <clears throat> detach from this, like if you can detach from your desired outcome with this person, then I feel like that's going to open your energy up and open you up to receiving, you know, the things that you want right? Um, we have the tower card here, so this, like, detachment could be, I mean, it probably will be difficult for you. Um, but also, this card is talking about what is to come. You know, the tower is about something sudden, some unexpected change, some, like, life-altering change, uh, often. Um, so this could be talking about, you know, someone new coming in. Um, so for many of you, I do feel like once you, um, release this, uh, situation, and I'm not saying release this person, it doesn't, I'm, I'm not saying that you can't ever think about them again, but you have to release your desired outcome with this person. You have to release, like, your expectations about this person, about, you know, being together or having a family or whatever it is that you think about. Um, 
And I feel like if you do that, then you will be, other things will start to manifest for you. And for many of you, it'll be a new person. For some of you, I do think for a small number of you, your person will come back once this happens. And after some period of time has elapsed. Um, but from the majority, I'm not really seeing, at this point anyway, based on this situation's like current trajectory, I'm not really seeing any communication from your person, unfortunately. So, group three, let me pull out one more oracle card for you. Okay, how about two? Okay, um, we have Mending. So this card talks about healing. This card talks about forgiveness. Um, so what I'm getting here is that, you know, this was a difficult, this situation with this person you're thinking about has been hard on you. Okay, and that's understandable. And it's something that needs to be healed from and released. Um, and some of you might need to forgive this person, okay? Now, forgiving is not always the same as forgetting. You can forgive, but you don't have to forget, you know? You can, if this person has done things that have really hurt you in the past, you don't have to completely absolve them of any, you know, responsibility or wrongdoing. You can forgive this person and still acknowledge that they did what they did and it wasn't right. You know what I'm saying? Forgiving, forgiveness is, is really just like letting go of it for your own sake, you know? Does that make sense? Um, and then the new life card. <clears throat> so my voice is getting all, my voice is getting all raspy. Mm. Mm. <laughs> Sorry guys. <clears throat> This person must have issues communicating in general. Um, <laughs> but anyway, okay. So the new life card. <clears throat> this is talking about basically a new beginning. Like starting over, you know? Um, so like I said, for some of you, a new person is going to be um, placed on your path that you are going to, you know, that that's going to meet all of your needs and, you know, be even more, like, give you a relationship that's even better than what you ever expected to have, I think. Um, and then, like, for that small number of you whose person is going to come back, this is saying... You know, it's it's going to be like a brand new thing. It's going to be totally different from the way it was before. Okay. Um, so, yeah. That's all the messages that I've got for you, group three. Um, I hope this resonates with you. Like I said, this is just general. Um, I always have to say that because some people forget. Uh, especially when they don't like the reading. Um but if this reading doesn't resonate with you, then it probably wasn't meant for you to hear. And um, uh, it's, it's uh, take everything that I say with a grain of salt because it's not, uh, it's not that serious. You know, this is, this is a general tarot reading on YouTube. <laughs> so um, don't take my word for it. Uh, so yeah, group three, um, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed and I hope I see you next time. So, group four, we are going to talk about what is going on with your person, and are they going to come back into your life? So, let's find out. <clears throat> What's up with the group four's person, and will they come back into their life? Expect powerful change. That's a good first card. And 
means your commitment is being tested. Okay. So, right away, um, this is a situation that is serving a higher purpose. I feel like all of the readings today have had that element of like divine guidance going on. So that's kind of interesting here. Um, <clears throat> this card, expect powerful change. This is telling me that the state of this connection is going to transform. Okay, there will be major changes happening between you and this person. This card is just telling me that patience is required here. Okay. Um, your commitment is being tested. A lot of times this card makes me think like, you know, don't give up on your goal here. <clears throat> It's like, how badly do you want this thing? Are you willing to wait for this thing? Are you willing to do what it takes to acquire this thing? Um, and a lot of times, doing what it takes to uh, acquire, you know, a person is... A lot of times that means moving on temporarily, honestly. Um, now hear me out, okay? Um, because I think, it, it, at least in my experience and in my understanding, the purpose of high-level soul connections and twin flame connections and that kind of thing, um, and even karmic connections, because, you know, karmic partners are a type of soulmate, <clears throat> One thing that many people have to learn from these connections is how to let go, how to detach, how to release your expectations and your desired outcomes, okay? Um, and just accepting that you won't always get what you want. Um, the way that manifestation and the law of attraction works is that as soon as you stop actively wanting something that's when it comes to you you know so I feel like that's something that many people have to learn um, and I feel like that's kind of like your uh, lesson here as well or one of them um, so the short answer so far I feel like is yes this person will come back However, it's not, oh, um, it's not going to be soon, I don't think, okay? Um, but let's see what other cards want to come out. We have heart-to-heart -heart conversations, yes. And we have calling in your soulmate, yes. Okay, so both of these cards are saying the same thing. This person will come back into your life in some capacity. Um... You will have the opportunity to communicate with this person in the very least. Um, calling in your soulmate, like I said, this feels like some sort of soul connection. Um, so this is basically just saying th this person is being drawn back towards you, or they will be. I need a drink. Hold on. So... Yes, I think they will, but like I said, it doesn't feel to me like it's going to be soon, um, and I, I mentioned this in group one, but soon, you know, our definition of soon and spirit's definition of soon is very different, um, because we perceive time as like this linear thing, this progression. It's just like a straight line, but that's not, that's not the reality of time. You know what I'm saying? Um, time technically doesn't even exist. Um, it's okay. Okay. We have the page of wands and the eight of wands. More cards talking about communication. Pages are messengers. Wands. Eight of Wands, this card is about communication, change, action. <coughs> so yes, definitely you will hear from this person. Um, I'm not sure though that 
any interactions that you have will go the way you want them to. I'm not sure that they will go super well. Um, this person... Yeah. Uh, we have the Eight of Swords and the Four of Cups. This, the next interaction that you have with this person might leave you feeling um, a little bit disappointed and you might end up becoming distant from each other again um, because the Eight of Swords is about like isolation, feeling trapped, um, and the Four of Cups is like disappointment, boredom, apathy, you know. So I think... I feel like whatever this connection is, it's not ready yet to come together. So, the next time you hear from this person, I, I don't feel like it's going to go well. I mean, initial contact might be fine, but I think eventually it will sort of, I don't know. I, I want to say, like, fall apart, and you might go through another separation, unfortunately. Um, this message is actually quite similar to group three. Um, so you may want to watch that one, or not, you know. Um, King of Swords, yeah. Okay, so, okay. When, when you and your person talk again, they could tell you something, some truth, that was possibly hidden before, um, or vice versa, you could tell them something, and the other person's not going to like it, I feel, um, and I think that's where this Eight of Swords and Four of Cups is coming in. Um, so, you know, your obstacle with this person right now is the separation, but even once you come back together, there's going to be more popping up that you're going to have to overcome. So, they're not necessarily going to um, disappear on you again, but I think there will be some issues that will crop up that you both will have to work through. Um, so what's going on with them? Whoa! Oh my god. That card went flying. We have the Empress. <laughs> okay, so... Basically, what they want you to know here is that you're the Empress. You are powerful and confident and intelligent and attractive. And, you know, you, um, I'm hearing you don't, like, need this person to be happy, but it would be nice, right? Um, also, I think that in time, this connection will kind of balance out and, you will find a lot of joy from it. That time is not now, however. Um, and I'm not sure that it's going to come in anytime soon. So, let's see what's going on with your person right now. We have the Queen of Cups. So, the Queen of Cups often can indicate, like, a psychic connection. So, that's going back to that, like, soul thing. Um, that I'm, I'm getting for you guys. Also, it could mean that... Let's see what this is. We have the moon. Interesting. Why is the moon here? The Ace of Swords. Some truth being hidden. Some truth being concealed. Um, okay. What's up? What's, what's that all about? Three of Pentacles and Five of Swords. Hmm. I feel like the Queen of Cups is also representing a person here. Um, it could be someone that they are currently involved with. And that doesn't necessarily mean that they are in a relationship relationship right now. Um, but I think it is representing some kind of, like, third party that is influencing your person or just preventing them from kind of 
I want to say like keeping them from you somehow. Um, and third parties don't always have to be people. It can be anything that drives a wedge between the two of you. Um, so like work or distance or uh, family, whatever. Um, but there is something there that is really keeping this person from being a um, being consistent, I think. Um, and it could be work related because we do have the three of pentacles here. Um, but I don't know. The five of swords, this usually talks about something that is like destructive or um, like something, some kind of like conflict or fear. Um, I feel like Whatever this is, it's keeping them from making any decisions. Um, it's keeping them from taking any action towards you. And it's also either whatever this is, is either preventing them from telling you some truth or whatever this is, is the truth that they don't want to tell you or they haven't told you. Does that make sense? I hope that makes sense. This is a general. It's going to be different for all of you, um, the specific, the details, but um, that's what I'm getting, like, overall. I do think your person is going to come back. I do think you'll hear from them. Um, let me see if I can't get an idea of when that might happen. Keep in mind, future outcomes cannot be guaranteed. Um, free will plays a role in... progression of the future okay so we have a change in the wind it came out reversed and the number on it is 12 so um in the reverse position this card talks about order no 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 wait a minute i'm thinking of a different card hold on <laughs> give me a second here um, a change in the wind. So, you know, this card talks about, like, changes, obviously. Um, it's also kind of like when you can feel that something is happening, but you don't know exactly what it is. Um, I think, I think this is talking about, like, this is basically reminding you that you have no control over this situation this is like the fact that you're in separation right now is not something that you have any control over um because it's like i'm getting like even if you contact this person they are not going to reciprocate or they're going to be very spotty in reciprocation and also it's kind of like if Whatever is happening in this person's life, like, if you know what this stuff over here is representing um, and you don't like it, just remember that these things also are happening for a reason in your person's life. Um, people have to go through things in order to learn things and to grow, okay? If nothing ever, you know, if, if nothing ever happened to us, then we would never change. We would always, we would remain the same people. So obviously something happened in the past that is the cause for this separation currently. Um, and I think that the purpose of this separation is so that your person and you can, you know, do the internal work that is required to help you to evolve and like level up, you know, um, spiritually, um, and, and, you know, mature a little bit. And so that's why this is happening. And that's why these things are happening in their life. Um, so if like, if they are in another relationship or if there is some kind of third party, like that's why that's happening. It's not for no reason. Um, so you don't, basically I'm, I'm getting here that you don't want this person back yet. You might think you do, 
but they're saying you really don't because they're still not ready. Like, if they came back now, things would just, things wouldn't end well, you know. Um, so it is better to wait so that you can be sure that um, when the two of you come back together, it will be a good thing. There will be a good outcome for you guys. Does that make sense? Um, group four. That is really all I've got for you today. Um, I hope this reading resonates with you. If not, um, then it wasn't your message. Um, just take what applies to you and leave the rest. Uh, also remember to please take everything that I say with a grain of salt. Um, sorry I didn't get a very, um, actually I, I really didn't get any, any indicators of when contact might come. Uh, but I think that is also for a reason. <laughs> I think they don't want you to be expecting communication. Okay. Um, so, uh, group four, that's your reading. I hope you enjoyed and I hope it resonates with you. Um, leave me a comment if you want and let me know what you thought. Uh, yeah. Thanks for watching, guys. I hope I see you next time. Bye!